The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. to terror-inspiring visual stimulation. Well, I'll try again. What are you reading, Lucy? <laughs> now, Viv, stop joking. This is serious. Serious? Oh, it has a real knee-slapping title. <laughs> Listen to this. Now, this article states the overabundance of spooky stuff in movies and TV can cause traumatic experiences in our youngsters. Why well, got you started on this kick? Do you know where Jerry and Sherman are this afternoon? Yeah, they went to see the movies. Why? Do you know what movies they're seeing? Oh, probably a couple of cowboy pictures. They are at the State Theater seeing The Surfing Werewolf. <laughs> which is on a double bill with the eggplant that ate Philadelphia. <laughs> now, does that sound like a couple of cowboy movies? Well, now, maybe the eggplant rode into Philadelphia on a horse. Oh, Viv, go ahead and make jokes, but I am reading this article because as a mother, I am very concerned. Now, listen, I'm just as much a mother as you are. I just don't happen to agree with you, nor that article. Don't you think that those movies are affecting our kids? Not one teeny weeny little bit. Anything. They got all that from those horror movies. That, that's a horror hootenanny that they learned. Oh, <laughs> they were just playing. Oh, playing. Oh, those horror movies aren't so bad. They don't make the kids steal or run away from home. Yeah, some night when there's a full moon, they might fly away from home. <laughs> no, really, Viv. I think that you and I should go see some of these horror movies and decide for ourselves whether they're bad for the kids or not. Okay, I haven't seen a movie with a monster since so Gone with the Wind. <laughs> There was no monster in Gone with the Wind. You didn't see my date. <laughs> well, I guess if we're going to go to the movies, we'll have to hire a babysitter. I'm not even sure I can find a babysitter at this late date. Come in. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. Hi, well, there it is. I'm on my way home and brought your monthly bank statement over. Well, thank you, but couldn't you have just mailed it? Mail your bank statement. Don't you know it's illegal to send questionable matter through the mail? Uh, Wait a minute. Why don't you list my bank balance? We didn't want to embarrass you. Is that low, huh? Lower than an ankle bracelet on a flat-footed pygmy. <laughs> well, that's really low. But, you know, we had a lot of expenses this month. We had to have the TV man here and the carpenter and... Oh, and then there was that cute plumber who was here twice before we found out he was married. <laughs> you, you don't require all those professional services. What do you mean? Well, why don't you call on your friends or your neighbors if you need something done? You mean, like, babysitting? Exactly. <laughs> you know, Mr. Mooney, Vivian and I consider you one of our closest friends. <laughs> you do? Oh, yes, we do, Mr. Mooney. Yes, and it just so happens that we need a babysitter tonight, and inasmuch as you think that we should call on our neighbors and our friends so I'll we would it. be able to save a little money, I thought perhaps if I'll I... I'll do uh... it. What'd he say? He says he'll do it. You mean you'll really babysit for us tonight? Certainly. Anything's better than sitting at home with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, what a 
spooky double feature. I was scared to death. Oh, all those monsters and werewolves and man-eating plants and then all that thunder and lightning. I didn't think we'd ever get home safe. Neither did I. It was pretty tough trying to drive that car with you sitting on my lap. <laughs> I, I, I was so scared when that man-eating plant reached out. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! 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 No wonder you have trouble getting babysitters. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, we're just a little on edge. Have you seen the eggplant that ate Philadelphia? I didn't even know that Philadelphia had been eaten. Oh, now, wait a minute. She's talking about a spooky movie we just saw. Yes, and it just scared me to death. Well, doesn't surprise me. Well, good night, ladies. Oh, Mr. Mooney, do you really have to go now? Yes, yes. After 11 o'clock, my wife sends the dog out for me. Oh, please, can't you just stay a little while and chat? Now, look, will you just forget those horror movies you saw? You're letting your imagination run away with you. Good night, ladies. Good night. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum. It isn't a bit night out for men, nor beast. Ah! Oh, he's a great comfort. <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed. Viv, I'm afraid to go upstairs. Oh, now, don't be such a coward. So you saw a couple of spooky movies. You'll get over it. Come on, let's go to sleep. Well, Viv, I'm afraid. Don't be such a baby now. Come I'm not a baby. Uh, I, I won't go in my room unless you promise to sleep with me. Now, what good will it do if I sleep in your room? Well, that'll scare the monsters away. <laughs> well, I mean, with you there, a monster wouldn't dare. Oh, oh Viv, I mean, you, we can protect each other. You know what I mean. Please, Viv, sleep in my room. Okay, if it'll make you feel any better. Come on. Okay, Viv. Viv. Huh? Take a hold of my hand. <laughs> Hold your hand. Yeah, and then I won't be frightened. Oh, all right. Come on, honey. Okay. <laughs> could certainly eat through that lock. <laughs> Let's put something in front of the door. Oh, come on now, Lucy. Please, please, I'll feel safer, Viv. Oh, my. I should have slept in my own room. I wasn't scared, but you're driving me to it. Get over there. Now, push. Be careful. Don't jiggle it too much. Just push straight ahead. Don't lean on it, honey. Push it. What do you got in this thing, bricks? <laughs> Be careful. There. Are we through, or would you like to build a moat? <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed.
surprised the bed didn't collapse. Oh. <laughs> now, nothing will surprise me. <laughs> Deb, uh, we ought to get up and fix this. Oh, no, I like sleeping here in this long pine box. Oh, my God, Deb, for heaven's sake, I won't be able to sleep a wink. <laughs> I wonder what made the bed collapse. Maybe the monster termites ate it. <laughs> Gosh, all those vampires and Batman and... Oh, dear. And that 500-pound turkey that ate people on Thanksgiving. <laughs> simply must give up smoking. <laughs> good evening, lady. Uh, good evening. Our our car broke down and, and, and we'd like to use your telephone. <laughs> ah, that's what they all say. <laughs> well, we were very lucky that we saw the lights in, in, in your windows. And, uh, it's terrible out. Oh, yes, it's not a fit night out for man or... <laughs> It's not nice, Al. <laughs> not yet, Ringo. <laughs> Permit me to introduce myself. I am Count Dracula. How do you do? You know he looks a lot like Mr. Mooney. <laughs> he does look like Mr. Mooney. Mr. Mooney? Yes, Mr. Mooney's a banker. Well, in a way, so am I. I run a blood bag. Well, sir, if we could just use your phone, then we will go. Certainly you may use the telephone. Thank you. But it would be inhospitable of me to let you go out into the storm without a cup of hot tea. Oh, well, that, that's, that, that, that's very nice, but we, we don't want to be any b bother. Oh, no, we're teetotalers. <laughs> Serve the tea. <laughs> the... Oh, I am so sorry. There are no tea cakes. Oh, that's all right. We, we, we don't oh, want no, any no, tea no, cakes. No, 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 no. I will have the maid bring some. <laughs> Drag that maid. She never hears the bell. Ringo, <laughs> call the maid. some tea cakes, Loretta? <laughs> ah, here is your tea. <laughs> there you are. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, Ringo, how long did you brew this tea? One year. A year, just the way I like it. Instant tea. <laughs> Drink up, ladies. Drink up. Ah. Drat that girl. She
she hasn't brought those cakes. Will you excuse me, lady? I'll have to go and get them myself. Good. Oh, heavens to be, Steve. The help nowadays. Oh. Let's get rid of this teeth. Throw it back here. Throw it here. In the plant. Yes. Hurry. Hurry. He didn't like it either. <laughs> Make that phone call and get out of here. Yes. Where can the phone be? In the telephone booth, stupid. <laughs> Who said that? I did. Over here on the wall. I am the head of the house. <laughs> well, uh, wh where did you say the phone is? Right over there. Oh, oh, well, thanks a lot, sir. So do I. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ah! Come in. <laughs> Why don't you try the secret passageway? Oh, is there a secret passageway? There's always a secret passageway. It's a panel. It's usually around a fireplace. Yeah. Remember? It has a button or a panel, mm -hmm. and you have to go around, and you find the panel, and suddenly something yeah. opens up, and then you can go, yeah. then you can escape. Viv, look in here. Look in the I'll look on the outside. You look on the inside. <laughs> There's no secret passageway in the fireplace, Lucy. Well, it's got to be around here someplace. Let's go. Let's find it. Let's look. Ah! It's not there. Oh, dear. Oh, Viv. Ah! 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 Going somewhere, lady. Uh, well, well, we were just looking around. Oh, well, yeah, it's a nice place. Have here. Yes. <laughs> well, please make yourselves comfortable. Please. That's right. Sit on the couch. You sit over here in the Morris chair. <laughs> Till the operating room is ready. Operating room? Yes, servants are so hard to find. I have decided to convert you into a housekeeper and a cook. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Well, they 
British would be done by now. And if the operation is a success, we will have a perfect housekeeper and a perfect cook. Dinner is served. magic mirror on the wall. You may serve the first course. All right, you The first course shall be your last course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is in your witch's brew? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Uh. It's octopus season with a dash of iodine. <laughs> and a pinch of strychnine. That's where the vitamins are. Ah, it sounds delicious. Oh, it is. Yeah. No, no, you only get every other full moon. Oh, oh, sorry. We can't stick around for that. Come on, Shaq the Brasha. Let's go out and paint the town black. Paint the town black. Come on, Shitty, let's go dancing. <laughs> Don't let them escape. <laughs> <laughs> and you and I were witches. What are you doing with that broom? I came downstairs to get a snack and I spilled some crackers. Well, now maybe we can get some sleep. No, no, I'm too nervous to sleep now. What's that? What's that? Good evening. My car broke down. Permit me to use your telephone. Our car broke down on the way home from a costume party. Oh. Oh, my God. A costume party. Oh, it's a costume party. Oh. Can I use your phone? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. 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 O